what is a handicap and what does that actually say about your golf game? I hear that a lot from golfers that I play with who don't really understand what a handicap is. And I'd like to take a minute to just explain to you what a handicap is, what it means, and what you should take from what your handicap number is. Thanks for tuning into the channel. I'm Ryan Balaji. Thanks for being here. And every, every <laughs> so often, I hear from friends, you know, we're going to play a game, and we have our handicaps to create a fair game. That's one of the very important points of the handicapping system, is to create fair games between players of different skill levels. And they'll ask for my handicap. They'll say their handicap. And then we'll make a game based on that. But I don't think players really understand what a handicap is telling them. Because... What I think people think when they look at my handicap, they think, okay, this is what he shoots every time. And that's what they think about themselves, too. Say you're a 15 handicap, and that would be a very good handicap. They think, okay, I shoot 15 over par every time, and that's what I'm expected to shoot. It's kind of my average. But that's not actually what a handicap tells you. The handicap is meant to tell you your capability what your potential is, what you are capable of doing in the full scope of how you play golf. So it's more a measure of your potential than your normal. And that's because we use something called score differential in the USGA and the RNA sponsored World Handicap System. So when you post scores to your handicap app, which is most people in this country these days is gin, you're looking to post scores from every round that you play. 9-hole scores, 18-hole scores, even scores from partial rounds where then you are expected to apply your existing handicap to those remaining holes that you miss if you play at least 13 of them. And you post those scores and you're trying to build as many of them as you can. You're trying to get to 20 to get a full allotment of scores that the USGA and the World Handicap System then use to give you the most accurate handicap that you can. But what they're going to do is they're going to take the eight best scores as it relates to what's called score differential. Score differential is an equation that is created using your score from the round as well as the slope rating and course rating of the place you played that day and the set of tees you played in that round. So an 80 on an easy golf course is different than an 80 on a difficult golf course. And that's reflected in both course rating and slope rating. Also, an 80 from the forward tees is different than an 80 from the back tees or the championship tees or whatever you want to call it. Those are different scores too. So, they need to be reflected in the, the accounting for your handicap. So, they're going to take the eight best score differential numbers, average them together, and that's going to be your handicap index. That's what that tells you. Then when you go to play a game with somebody that you know or you don't know, you use that handicap index and you convert it to a course handicap for the course that you're playing and the tees that you're playing that day. And that's how you make your game. Now for a lot of people, they just kind of throw out numbers and they say it casually like, well, I'm a, I'm a 2, uh, I'm a 10, oh, there's 8 strokes, sorry, you get 4 aside. It doesn't quite work like that. Now you can agree to that. Everything in golf is up for negotiation, I suppose. But that's not the pure way of using it. So what you want to do is then get out your gin app, look up the course that you're playing that day, the set of tees, figure out what your handicap indexes are, plug them in, then you know the actual difference. And that way, you can figure out what the stroke should be for any one particular game. But it's really important, I think, for golfers to keep in mind that your handicap index says what you're capable of doing. It doesn't say what you are, or what you do every time, or what your expectation is every time. And that's what happens to the evaluation of golfers who say they're scratch, you know, they're 0, 0.0 or better. Maybe they're a plus handicap. And people who play with them who aren't scratch might think, well, you're going to shoot even par or better every time because that's what zero is. But that's not what your handicap system is measuring. One, it's measuring against the course rating and slope rating. More importantly, the course rating in this case, which isn't always the same as par. In fact, it very rarely is. But also, this is your potential. So if you are a scratch player, you're not expected to shoot par or better every time. You're expected to shoot par or better in 8 out of 20 scores, which means that's your best 40%. So your other 60% could be way worse, and your reasonable expectation for your normal score could be way worse depending on what you shoot in that other 60% of the time. So for everybody who's using a handicap system today, 
who's got a handicap index, please know that what you are putting forward as your handicap index number is your best foot forward. It's not your both feet forward. It's not your worst foot back. It is what you can do on the golf course. And for players who have a big variety of scores that could range from a wide variety of numbers, your potential is reflecting your handicap, not your worst to your worst. For players who shoot in kind of a tight range of scores, maybe you shoot 75 a whole heck of a lot. Well, in that case, then you're expected to kind of shoot closer to that number. That's your distribution. So that's an important factor in all of this too. The World Handicap System is great. It helps us to be able to play together, people from different backgrounds, places around the world, and different skill levels. But at least if you know going into it what it's actually measuring and the kind of game that you're getting based on your skill level, you'll have a better appreciation of it. I'm Ryan Balanji. Thanks for watching the channel. Please consider subscribing and liking. We'll talk to you next time.